So I fixed Gina up with a little uh, heat mat right here, so uh, that way she doesn't have to freeze her hiney off in the snow. I mean, look, her ball's buried in the snow. Oh, poor Gina. Let's get to it. Oh man, Gina's dish is even buried. Poor Gina. I need to do something about that, Gina. Eat that snow. All right, so what we to do today is uh, the ground still isn't frozen. So if you see up there, it's still 30 some degrees. So the ground, I'm surprised the snow is still staying on the, the ground. You can see some spots where like this gravel is where the sun melted it off already. But we got snow around here and we got birds in the snow. For whatever reason, they like digging in the snow. Them are the weirdest blackbirds I've ever seen. But I picked up two more chisel plows. The goal is today is go to full-fledged chisel plowing. So we got one of our Great Plains right over here. Uh, <laughs> big old chisel plow, about a, it's about a 20-foot chisel plow. So uh, has a back rollers and everything so i'm hoping to get all three tractors running full bore but first we got to pick up our other two at the dealer so i think i'm going to hmm, which trailer should we use so i want to take both chisels at the same time i'm trying to think if this is wide enough this is a tough call here so you guys probably haven't even seen this yet but uh i picked up this international for cheap so uh i just love how these old internationals look they kind of remind me of my old farm we used to have one similar not pretty close to it but it's just another flatbed that i could use for help pulling around stuff so both of my big semis they are uh, hooked up to their grain trailers so uh, I'm waiting so I do have a few contracts to fill so I just don't want to have to move them back and have to hook them back up so they're gonna stay in here for a little while there we go so I'll just take this with the gooseneck uh, yeah that should be enough trailer to pull both of them chisels so the one thing I just love is how this thing sounds. I just love the sound of it. Pretty good animation. You guys are interested in this uh, international truck. You can find it at Twisted Twine Modeling. All right, so we're gonna pull this uh, big text out here. There we go. Oop, didn't make it trailer so long I, I thought I was going to clip the side of that uh, post there uh, if you guys haven't noticed it did snow and it snowed a lot around here so uh, uh, thankfully one of the local farmers Buck uh, plowed some of the snow for us a little bit and I believe uh, Austin helped out so uh, at least we have a little bit of plowed uh, roads around here Random forklift in the road there. Plan on chiseling that field right beside us right here. Uh, hoping the ground, if you could tell, is still shouldn't be frozen. So I'm hoping the chisel is able to break through. So there should, there might just be a slight frost on the top of the soil, but it hasn't weren't deep enough. So as long as it's not clumping up the ground enough, I think we should be able to chisel. Whoa, 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 we, uh, that was a little bit, uh, got a little bit out of, out of control there. I just love how this truck sounds. I mean, listen to it. Go, the LED lights on it makes it look pretty. The only thing, if I could ask one thing, is probably uh, redo the interior just a slight. But otherwise, pretty good job. Now we got to lower these uh, mega ramps. Oh man.
man, I hope these, uh, yeah, they should drive on. At least uh, two of the wheels should uh, pull on there. Be a little bit hard uh, backing them on there, but we will try to get it done. Let's see. Got to go grab their Magna, their Steiger over here to help out. Yeah, so uh, I kind of misjudged that. I thought I could get both chisels on this trailer, so we're going to have to come back and get the other one. Man. Now I got that forward loaded too, so mm. good thing I got the old, uh, I ended up bringing the international, so it's not that big of a deal for a little bit heavy in the front with this, but probably should have backed that up a slight bit, but uh, oh well, we'll get it home and uh, get it to use right away. Alright, so we'll have to drive this nice and easy, because if you could tell that, uh, chisels a little tipsy back there gonna drive in the snow drift uh oh hopefully I don't get stuck uh oh oh got a long trailer so it is hard pulling a trailer in the snow that's for sure there we go we're free going now I really hope the, this pays off and the ground is unthawed enough for us to chisel otherwise uh, that was a big expense I didn't need to do. So I called Timmy. He's on his way. He's going to help us out. I'm going to put my wife in one of the uh, tractors too. So she's going to have to figure it out and chisel. I mean, really, it's GPS. You just kind of go till it dings, you turn, and then reset it again. It's not that hard. All right, so we got uh, our last chisel back. So we got all three chisels. So we got that chisel hooked up, got this one brought off the trailer, so now I need to get the loader off of my uh, 84 here. I'm going to put that loader probably here in the corner, uh, and then I want to put the rock bucket on the front, and then uh, it should be ready to go. Yeah, look at that. All right, I'll leave the loader right there. All right, so now I got to take this over to the garage and uh, basically just put the rock bucket in front of it and then it should be ready to hook up to the other chisel. So much to do here. Still have to work on my winter project here, my old bow tie Chevy here. Uh, it's got a little rust that needs fixed, but otherwise, really no ding, so shouldn't be too big of a problem. We just have to fix all that rust, so there's a lot of panels we got to fix. Alright, I don't know why I kept this running, so I'll shut this off. And uh, we will get the, where uh, is that rock bucket at? I think I left it over here on the side. All right, get this brace off here. All right, now we got the bucket on there, so that should be ready to go. There we go. So uh, I think I'm going to put the wife in the 84 just because it's the easiest to run. We got two big monitors in here. We got everything is uh, pretty simple, so she shouldn't have a problem with that. And if not, I'll be in the same field anyway, so I'll be able to uh, kind of teach her. That way, and show her how it's done. We're gonna have to get used to some long days and some long nights because uh, we have to uh, hopefully get all of our uh, field work done this winter before the ground freezes. So there's a lot to do here in a short amount of time. Away, two tractors done. So now I need to go get the. The 30 series John Deere ready. So the 30 series is still stuck on the baler. I'm going to have to take that off. I'm going to have to put the duels back on the 30 series so it's ready to go. Yeah, it still has a baler on here. So we'll unhook this quickly. And it is dead. Shoot. Where is that charger at? Where is that charger? Man, I don't have anything in this uh, garage here. I have to run over here, get the charger quick. All right, there's the charger. I'll run this over there and uh, hopefully get that started. 
All right, we got a little bit of power over here, so I'm hoping... There we go. Looks like we uh, got it running now. So now I need to take this over to the shop, get the duels put on, and hopefully be finally ready to go for a long day. Alright, now I gotta wheel them duels in here. Where did I leave them? I left them in the barn here somewhere. Alright, so we'll put these on here. Loosen up these bolts on here. Alright, that duel's put on there. Got the weights put on. And this one's put on with the weights, so... Uh, we should have enough weight for it to uh, chisel now, hopefully. So, let's get this thing hooked up. I need to ask Timmy where he's at. I uh, have to let Timmy know that only my wife has an excuse for me to wait on her. He doesn't. He's an employee. Man, look who finally showed up. Old Timmy. So I have to give it to him. Timmy is proud of his truck. And I I like it. You know, if he's proud, you know, good for him. That thing really looks super uh, baby blue with this white snow. Uh, I'm not even going to tell him that that dryer's going to be running and it's going to be full of bees wings. But we won't tell Timmy that. We'll just uh, keep our mouth shut for now and uh, hopefully get to uh, chiseling here. So I'm going to go over there and just see how uh, this runs in the field and uh, if the ground's too frozen, if we have to go to another field or whatever we have to do. We'll see here quick. So I had my selection of all three tractors. I think I'm going to give Timmy the Steiger. Uh, my wife, of course, is going to get the 84 just because it's the easiest to run. And uh, I'm going to be settling with the, the 30 series here. It's not really settling. I, I kind of like the looks of this old tractor. To me, that is cool. But looks pretty good in my book. But we'll have to see. Uh, hopefully it could pull this big chisel. Pretty big. Especially in a, a kind of frosted ground. We'll see. We're just uh, turning over, so we're not going super deep, but uh, hoping it goes. Uh, this goes fairly well. All right, we'll unfold uh, like a boss over here on the, the road here. Sounds like uh, I'm gonna have to grease some of them uh, folding wings there. Probably forgot to do that. Oops. These set right. Everything should be good to go, I'm hoping. Alright, we are off. Here we go. Yep. It's not even hardly bogging down this old tractor. Running like a champ. In the snow. In the powder. So I guess uh, we will uh, put some of that uh, snow in for uh, moisture next year. But it seems like we're running pretty well here. So we're all three running here in the field. So you see Timmy over there, my wife. So we did a few skip rows, basically. I wanted to make sure this whole field, especially in the center, was uh, still unthawed. So we'll uh, come back and uh, hit up all these skip rows. But uh, every uh, all the tractors are running great. So we're all running about at uh, 8 miles an hour. So probably is a little bit too quick for chisel uh, especially with this much frost or possible frost in the ground so we are just uh, you don't want to run too quick basically because uh, if you hit something hard then uh, uh, you got to trust that you're not going to break a shank back there or the, 
the spring shanks basically if they uh, they can still break you never know when that might happen luckily there's no one on the road here so we can uh, basically get away with turning a little bit so we're doing our skip rolls now so uh, Timmy's running the Steiger and my wife's running the 84R and I'm running the 8530. The 8230 just wasn't cut, cutting it so I borrowed uh, my neighbor's uh, 8530. So uh, this will help me get this chiseling done. So I don't know, maybe I'll uh, swap them because uh, this 8530 is running pretty good but uh, might be a little bit too big for a uh, hay tractor chiseling nicely so you just see we have no big clumps back there so uh, the ground is still just about perfect for chiseling uh, it, this will make sure we can get into the field earlier next comes springtime so if you don't break up your ground if you know till uh, it means uh, spring planting will be a little bit behind and uh, that's not the sooner you can get into basically planting, or better uh, terms for it, the, the better the, the soil temp is for the plant, the corn plant, the more yield you're going to get. So uh, plowing this up helps the basically the warm air and sunlight get to the ground and warm up the ground a little bit. So it all helps us get to the field a little bit sooner and get better yields uh, looks like I'm gonna have a few rows of shame over here so I have uh, four rows so I uh, must have not set the GPS just right so luckily we have all three tractors here connected to each other so we can all run on each other's GPS line which allows us all to skip like that which is kind of neat, uh, being able to uh, plow with all of them together like this. So we are all split apart now so uh, all three of us are working different sections I'm working this side over here by uh, Grant's house uh, yes we are driving through uh, some uh, what is this um, we are driving through some uh, barley in the field here so that didn't get harvest 
It's probably because if you see it, it's kind of spotty. Uh, it probably wasn't worth uh, harvesting. Uh, so it's no big deal to run through that. Uh, we have what? Uh, Timmy's over there running the Steiger. So he is keep running. I know that's probably hard on him because he likes to uh, stop, do some Snapchat and all that type of stuff. But I'm forcing him to keep running the whole time. So I'm sure he's doing it. He's just putting it on GPS and probably, you know, doing all his Snapchatting and uh, Facebooking and everything. Uh, my wife, she actually enjoys uh, chiseling. So. This is one of my favorite things to do, is run a chisel, especially late in the winter. So uh, I would rather be in a harvester during harvest season, but uh, running a chisel is definitely a uh, pretty close second. So definitely after harvest is done, running this for long days, but it is a long day. Once you get in one of these tractors, you basically run as long as you can keep your eyes open basically and uh, keep the tractor going straight. Never had GPS in our old tractor so uh, we had to do the old old fashioned way of steering. Ooh, got a little bit too far there. So uh, this place over here so that's the old uh, that's the old uh, parent the grandparents basically that's what I bought this farm from and built it all but that was their uh, basically retirement spot so nice little area for them built this farm up pretty nice so uh, some of you may be thinking uh, how are you chiseling in that much snow so it's not really that much snow so we might have six inches maybe closer to four inches uh, you could still easily see the corn stalks are uh, poking through pretty easily, but uh, this uh, the snow basically put a barrier on this uh, the soil, so help the soil stay a little bit warmer and not freeze, so not get a frost layer. So it's uh, basically all we're doing now is uh, chiseling it in and. Uh, hiding that moisture and hopefully uh, some of it will be here for our spring time. Does look like I got the bigger piece to uh, basically to uh, plow over here but uh, I'm gonna probably have to clean up the ends because uh, old Timmy, my wife, uh, they ain't the best at driving straight but we'll have to see. So it looks like my wife come join me over here on uh, this little strip and then I'll start cleaning up the headlands a little bit. So I don't usually uh, chisel plow the headlands till later because uh, who wants to go over them bumps every single time you turn around? Not the funnest thing to do. Most people just chisel it later on and that way uh, the extra compaction that you do by turning around you can just uh, basically chisel that out out of the soil. It's like Timmy's getting the last little strip there done with the Steiger. I'm sure once he gets to the end of the field he'll just sit there and uh, wait until further instructions. He's not a go-getter. He's one of them people that you have to go and get. Alright, we're hitting this headland. My wife's going to have to uh, bang her head on top of the ceiling here for a few rows. You can see, I mean, it's pretty clear that he isn't chiseling anything because uh, it's not white in front of his tractor. I don't know, I mean, you really just can't find good help. Timmy, what you doing? Yeah, he's running across that field with his chisel up. Now it looks like he's stopped in the middle of the field. I would imagine he just figured out that there was nothing to chisel in front of him. That's my guess. Man. 
Timmy sure is lucky I can't find better help. So we just got a few more uh, slivers right here. Uh, if y'all were uh, wondering, Timmy is still over there. Stopped randomly in the middle of the field. Don't ask. I mean, I, I try not to think about it, then you don't get mad. So, uh, I try not to think that every hour he is sitting in that tractor doing nothing, or moment, I'm paying him for that. Try not to think about it. You won't get mad. Looks like my uh, wife pulled up just a tad too early right there, so we'll finish this little piece up right here on the end. Huh. Looks like I got off uh, my GPS for whatever reason. Just about a foot. Oh well. Then we might have to do like a roll of shame or a few rolls of shame. Won't be too big of an issue. It's like a squad over there uh, left some beans in the field. Hopefully the insurance company uh, reimbursed them for that. It's a lot of money in the field over there. Is my wife heading off? Yep. Yep, I don't think I could have got that anyway, so uh, we'll have to come back and get them four rolls right there. Just getting this last little bit of snow in this field. That way... I mean, I'm really just chiseling this because I don't want to see my field white. I want to see it nice and plowed and uh, purdy. No, not really. I, I want it to be able to get into the field early next spring. Does my wife not see me coming this direction? Me or the wifey? Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.